While studying next-gen software services indicators, you will spend a lot of time analyzing the T3 trigger lines. The number one rule for reading small versus large trigger lines on a larger chart is to focus on the location of the trigger lines relative to one another. You will also spend time analyzing the width, as well as the direction of the trigger lines to determine trend direction as well as the overall strength of the market. In this lesson, we will take our trigger line analysis one step further. Using the T3 synthetic trigger lines, we will superimpose the 13 two large chart small trigger lines on our 5 1 dynamic Renko chart, as well as the 13 two large trigger lines on our 8 range market flow chart. The templates for this setup are available for download from the NextGen resource page on the website. Simply download the most recent version of software installers and simply reapply the templates. In this example, you will see the 13 two small triggers superimposed on the 5 1 dynamic Renko chart. The yellow arrows point to the same trigger values on the 13-2 chart as well as the 5-1 chart. The value for the trigger lines will be identical on both charts. You will also notice the large magenta arrows that are pointing to the 13-2 large trigger line on both the 13-2 chart as well as the same 13-2 trigger value superimposed on the 8-range market flow chart. Remember, this is going to be a lesson in visualizing the same triggers in a different way using our smaller charts. None of our trading rules or termination conditions will change in this lesson. The goal of this lesson is to enhance your visualization of trade setups and their probability of success or failure. The following is an example trend trade short on the E-mini S&P futures taken during our live class on May 10th. Notice we have annotated the rules by copy-pasting them out of the trading plan on our picture. Rule number one requires strong trigger lines on the 13-2 chart. Rule number two states that no termination of trend as well as room to the target must be true. Finally, the entry can be taken at Fibonacci, mid-band, and trigger lines that come together. The probability of this trade winning is greatly enhanced by two key items that new traders will not recognize until it is pointed out. Notice the white box and arrows in the middle of the picture. First, the location of the 5-1 small triggers is below every other trigger line on the chart. This shows very strong momentum to the downside. The second visual clue that this trade will win is the direction and location of the 8 range small triggers. 5 1 chart trend trades that agree with the 8 range small triggers direction have a considerably higher probability of winning. When learning the trend trades, make sure you stay focused on the small trigger direction on the 8 range chart. In this example, while analyzing the indicators and deciding if you will take one more long trend trade. It is very important to remember to double check the location of the 5-1 chart small triggers relative to all other triggers on the 5-1 chart. When the small triggers are just about to be located below the large and synthetic triggers on the 5-1 chart, you will stop taking trend trades. Remember, when the small trigger violates the bottom of all other triggers on that chart, the probability of a successful long trade will drop dramatically. Now, turning our attention to the 8 range market flow chart. When incorporating the 8 range small trigger direction rule to enhance trend trade probabilities, it is easy to see that if the market would make one more bar down, the small triggers will be located below all other triggers. Also, the 8 range small triggers will cross to a downward direction, stopping any further long 5 1 chart trend trades. This is quite literally the last place for a long trade or a possible reversal of trend. Analyzing the small chart, small triggers versus the 13 two triggers superimposed on our smaller charts give us a very sharp and well-defined view of the probability of a successful trend trade. By analyzing the eight range small trigger location and direction, traders will be able to easily and confidently take five one trend trades that have a higher probability of winning. This crude oil chart produced three winning 5-1 trend trades long. Notice at the top right of this chart, the moment the eight range small triggers cross down and are located below all other triggers, the market now is expected to make a reversal or deeper retracement. This is the time to stop taking trend trades and look for edge trades long from a lower level or a possible termination of trend. It is common for new traders to focus on conditions that may eliminate the trend trade, rather than focus on the conditions that help create winning trend trades. In this example, 
Notice the market reached Fibonacci resistance on the small 5-1 chart. When deciding to take this long trend trade at Fibonacci support on the 5-1 chart, the location of the small trigger on the 5-1 and range chart, relative to the location of the 5-1 and 8 range large triggers is very helpful to the long trade. Also, the direction of the 8 range small triggers at time of entry, allow for this long trade to be higher probability. Notice that the small and large 13-2 triggers help act as a support area, enhancing the Fibonacci areas at the time of the market flow long signal. Without the clear multiple chart trigger line synergy at Fibonacci, a new trader may be reluctant to make the long trade due to the 5-1 chart resistances. When in fact, the Fibonacci support areas in combination with the trigger lines helping act as support, at the same spot, creates a much higher probability trade. One final trigger line reading during a trend trade thought. While it is ideal to have the 8 range small triggers crossed in the direction of the 5-1 trend trade, it is also very important to gauge the location of the small trigger relative to the other triggers. Sometimes the 8 range small trigger will barely turn prior to entry. This is okay as long as the 13-2 chart is strong and the location of the 8 range trigger is well above all other triggers. You will notice that the management of the trade may differ based on the direction of the 8 range small triggers. When the 8 range small triggers are crossed against your trade, as is the case here, you may focus more on the 5-1 chart areas for taking profit at prior highs. You may also move your stop up a few ticks behind the 5-1 reversal bar marker. Exiting when any new divergence becomes true. This will allow you to stay in a trade, while controlling the amount of risk you are willing to take, should the market reverse. In this example, we will analyze the 13 two small triggers superimposed on a 5-1 chart. Notice the low, the 5-1 chart put in divergence on the low. It is important to notice that the 13 two small trigger is very narrow or pinched together. Normally, this pattern will cause the market to retrace much higher. It is important with divergence and a pinched 13-2 trigger to wait for the market flow signal before entering a position. Many times the market will continue making a reversal and no trade will be taken. In the year 2004, NextGen introduced a momentum trade that included strong trigger lines and one-to-ones, which are the yellow dots. Today, in 2021, this momentum trade will become more obvious and higher probability using the 13 two small trigger lines that are superimposed on the 5-1 chart. The rules are simple, the 5-1 small triggers must be very strong and located below the 13 two small triggers that are also very strong. The sell entry will be one tick below the yellow 1-1 one one with a limit order. This trade is rare but very effective. The exit will be taken with any loss of momentum preparing you for an upcoming trend trade. The following chart is another example of a momentum trade. In order to protect your position, you will want to place your protective stop just above the 13 two small triggers when doing momentum trades. As with any momentum style trade, you will also watch for any loss of momentum as an exit. During our live class on May 10th, we witnessed two momentum trades on crude oil. You will notice that after the momentum short, exiting after an up bar, the market put in divergence at the low while the 13 two small trigger lines were very narrow and pinched together. Remembering that this divergence and pinched trigger line look will force you to wait for a trend trade confirmation from the market flow, no trend trade short was taken in this case. After the reversal of the market trend and breakout of Fibonacci resistance, you will notice a second momentum trade long, this long did in fact reach Fibonacci resistance. The addition of the 13 two small triggers on the 5-1 chart will not only help you spot additional opportunities to make high probability trades, the 13 two triggers will also help visually alert you to the fact, a potential 5-1 trend trade, will need market flow signal confirmation or may not happen. Looking at the 8 range market flow chart, having the 13 two large triggers superimposed on it, you will be able to use the 13 two large triggers as an additional support or resistance area when doing trend trades. When doing trend trades on the 5-1 chart, it is important to make sure that the location of the small triggers on the 8 range chart are also on the correct side of the 13 two large triggers. That combined with the 8 range small trigger direction will be used to increase the probability of your trend trades. You will also notice that once the 8 range small trigger lines cross up, 
As noted at the bottom of this chart, 5-1 trend trades usually do not follow through. This will be another visual clue that you may need to manage your position. After a clear breakout of resistance to the upside, the 8 range small triggers crossed up and breaking through the 13 two large triggers provide a clear long trade from Fibonacci support. In addition to higher probability trend trades, recognizing powerful divergence areas at pinched 13 two small triggers and the addition of a powerful momentum trade, you will also clearly recognize a higher probability high volume area trade. In this example, the 13 2 chart puts in a pivot stop out termination condition at Fibonacci support. This is followed by divergence from Fibonacci support on the retest. Once the small triggers are located above all other triggers on the 5 1 chart, as well as the small triggers on the 8 range chart are crossed up and located above all other triggers, you will see a very high probability HVA line trade that included a market flow long signal. It is also worth pointing out that not one of the 13 two triggers traded below Fibonacci support at the low. This gives the termination condition much more strength. The long trades with this look are enhanced by superimposing the 13 two triggers on the smaller chart. When the market trend is very strong and in a parabolic state, you will be able to use the market flow signals to help generate additional trading opportunities. During a strong parabolic trend, look for market flow signals from the edge of the 13 two triggers as an additional entry mechanism. It will still be important to make sure that the small trigger lines on the 8 range chart remain located above the edge of the 13 two large triggers. It is also important that the 8 range small triggers remain crossed in a direction that favors the trade. Remember, in a strong trend parabolic state, the market may not pull back to support or resistance before you get a market flow signal. Superimposing the 13 two large triggers on the 8 range chart will be helpful during this market condition. Sometimes at a high or low, the market will make two divergences on the 5 1 chart. You will find it helpful to notice that when both of these divergences happen at the 13 two small triggers, without getting beyond the triggers, it may stop the trend. A trader will want to manage any positions when double divergence is true at 13 two small triggers. When the market is unable to break beyond the superimposed 13 two small triggers on the 5 1 chart, it is a warning that the trend may end. Also, when this pattern is true, you will want to pay close attention to the location of the 5 1 triggers relative to all other triggers on the 5 1 chart. If the small triggers break above all of the other triggers, as well as the Fibonacci area, the market will usually transition into a full trend reversal. You will also recognize in this example that the 8 range small triggers are also crossed up after the second divergence on the 5 1 chart. In this case, no further trend trade shorts would be taken. After the low, and while the 8 range small triggers are crossed up strongly, the market flow is also generating long signals. Many times after this type of low, you will see many experienced next gen traders do a reversal trade using the market flow long signals at Fibonacci areas. They will do so with the expectation of trend continuation in the opposite direction. You will also notice the momentum long trade at multiple Fibonacci area of support. This happens when both the 5 1 small and 13 2 small triggers trending very strongly together through Fibonacci areas. Typically, this trade is normally taken using a 1 to 1 yellow dot. However, you may find additional uses for the momentum style trade. In closing, it is still very important that you do not attempt any counter trend trades that the 13 2 chart does not support. In this picture, if you only look at the 5 1 chart, you will see the temptation to attempt a long trade when the small triggers are beyond all other triggers. This will be a recipe for disaster. Make sure that you have a solid top or bottom before attempting to trade in the opposite direction. Take your time with this trigger line configuration. Spend time replaying the charts using the 13 2 triggers superimposed on the smaller charts. When you do have a great termination condition on the larger charts, you will start to feel very comfortable trading in the opposite direction when properly reading your Fibonacci and trigger lines. Thank you for trusting NextGen Software Services with your Fibonacci analysis.